Sorry about that, my, uh, my phone had too much uh, memory on it, or not enough memory in it, but too much information on it. Uh, so I had to delete some things. But anyway, uh, I think I was talking about uh, uh, dog. I was talking about eating dog. So here I have not. And I don't know if they do here or not. I think they probably do. Uh, or at least some, you know, some people do. It might not be common, but I think it's, I think it's accepted to eat it here. Um, but I did try it a few years back when I was in Vietnam. And I didn't like order a plate of dog for myself. Because honestly, I felt bad. I had a little, I, at the time, I had a little dog, Jeter, who I missed so much. Uh, he's still in the US. Um, but I, I felt a little bit, I would feel a little bit guilty about ordering dog. Uh, but one of the people that we were out with ordered dogs, so I figured like he already ordered it, and when am I ever going to have a chance to eat dog? And so I went ahead and uh, ate that, and it was pretty good. It was um, similar. The taste was similar, maybe to like goat kind of. Like it was a little bit gamey, but a little bit. Uh, it was a little bit sweet. It was pretty good, honestly. Like if I just ate it and I didn't know what it was, like it was pretty good. Like straight up, pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and boil up some water. I got my vegetables and my meat done, so now I'm going to boil some water. And I have these egg noodles. I'm going to cook, this, uh, cook these egg noodles. And at the very end, I'll throw the, um, the meat and the vegetables back in with them. And so what I do is actually, instead of straining it, like I know a lot of times you strain the, uh, the water after you cook the noodles, but um, but I, what, what I will do is actually leave it. So when I'm cooking the noodles, especially, I mean, I guess even if, if you're just using regular pasta, there's a lot of starches and a lot of nutrients that come out of those noodles that add, A, nutrients, but also a lot of flavor. And especially with the egg noodles, dude, like, don't, I don't know. I recommend keep, keeping that for something, like, use it for something, and it'll add it to a sauce, whatever. Because all of that, like, all the proteins, and that breakdown, dude, like they're really, really, really good. And I, if you just strain it out, like you're just, you're wasting so much nutrients and you're wasting so much flavor. And I don't like wasting, especially nutrients or flavor. But yeah, so I use this, I have this little burner here. It's like a almost six liter, it's basically like a propane burner that I have here. A lot of people you'll see have, um, like elements that go on top. Eventually I'll probably get one of those. Um, so you can just hook your propane burner directly into the elements. But for right now I just have the, the one burner. And it, it suits me well. Uh, like I said, eventually I'll upgrade, I'm sure, and get actual elements, but for right now it works. But yeah, I appreciate you guys again, always like, just coming, you know, coming and checking out what's going on, seeing what's happening in Cambodia, what's happening in my apartment. It's almost like, uh, you guys are like partial roommates, I should start, you know, charging a little bit for rent, just to be fair. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> so, so, I'm not gonna charge for rent, because I can't. I don't know, like, if I could, why not? I don't know, I'm not going to. But it's not a nice day, man. Like, the weather here is like, it's good, dude. Like, it depends what you like. Um, recently, it's been like, in the morning, it's usually, it's usually real nice in the morning when I wake up. Like, I sleep with a fan on. So, like, usually in the morning, honestly, I turn my fan off because it's like, I don't know. It's maybe like the mid 70s, but with the fan blowing on me, it's like a little bit much. Especially like, Especially if I just get out of the shower here, then it's like way too much. But so like in the morning, it's usually in like the mid 70s, and then it'll go up to like the, maybe, it depends on the day, like maybe the mid 80s, low 90s during the day. But some days it's like super overcast with clouds, and it might only stay in the like low 80s all day. And then in the evening hours around now, it's been raining a lot. Uh, anytime between like 3 o'clock and 7 or 8 at night, it will either you know, rain through that period of time or sporadically anywhere in that period of time. Uh, some days are super humid, like disgustingly humid, but those are rare. So don't, don't take that as me saying like, 
it's so humid here all the time, and like it's so disgusting. Like there are some days where it's like incredibly disgustingly humid, but that might be like once a week or once every couple of weeks. And then you know there's a decent amount of time where it's kind of humid, and then there's some days where it's like barely humid at all. Like there are some days when it's like legit, like like perfect, like high seventies, low eighties, cloud cover, low humidity, like all day long, just like what you might consider like a perfect day. Personally, I like a lot of sunshine, so like, even for me, like, if it has to be hotter, I'll take the sun, I'll take the sun. I'll take a 95 degree day, high humidity, as long as I have the sunshine on me, man, like I am a happy, happy camper. And speaking of camping, I, um, so there's a beach, uh, it's maybe, I don't know, maybe a four hour, like, hard drive from here. It's called Camp Hot. And I am going to try to be going there soon. I'm trying to find out about camping there. So like when I came here, like I talked to you guys about before, like I like I used, I, I used to do like some hiking. I hiked on the Appalachian Trail, and I have like some good like hiking stuff. And I brought some of that with me. So I brought with me my my bag for hiking, and I brought my uh, my tent. Um, I actually brought my like water filter, so it's like a water purifier that like in theory you can just put it in water as long as it's not like radioactive or toxic water, but if it's just like dirty water from like dirt and sediment, it'll uh, filter it out. It'll also filter out, filter out some heavier elements. Uh, again, it's not gonna filter out like radioactive material or a lot of potassium or iodine. I guess iodine, yeah, but a lot of like heavier elements. Um, but I brought all that stuff, some of that stuff with me and I brought those specific items with me. So I'm trying to, figure out how I can go camping there and to make sure that A, I'm not going to like get arrested or something. I don't think I will, but I want to find out for sure. <laughs> and also to make sure I'm not going to step on a landmine or anything. I don't think that area has any, um, but uh, north of, so Kampot is west of Phnom Penh, that's right in Cambodia. And I know for sure north of Phnom Penh there's a lot of like jungle and there's a lot of areas that still have tons of like landmines and stuff there. Um, but I want to make sure there's none there, and uh, so if I do like, you know, plan on camping. So like my, my intention is to either get a bus, um, or I'm thinking about hitchhiking, I'm thinking about doing it. Like, I don't see why not. Like, wouldn't that be kind of cool, like hitchhiking with like local people to, to there? It'll take me longer. Um, like I said, it's probably like a four hour car drive, so I imagine a bus is maybe going to be like, five or six hours, so hitchhiking might take longer. But I think that'd be a really cool experience. Um, so if I do that also, there's the chance that I'm gonna get stuck in between places, so I'm gonna have to just camp somewhere randomly. But either way, those are those are things that I'm thinking about doing. Um, and then also, I, I was talking about filtering the water. So I guess I can talk about the water here a little bit. So I don't necessarily like straight drink my tap water. Um, I go out, I buy bottled water for my drinking water. But I do use my tap water for like filter for uh, for filtering. I don't use it for filtering, but I do use it for cooking. Um, so like I'm just gonna boil my noodles in my tap water, and I'm going to consume that. Um, I think the tap water is uh, a little bit safe. My battery is going a little bit low here, so I'm gonna hit this button. Um, but I, I think the water here is is safe in terms of like parasites or any diseases. I think totally you're really cool to drink the water. I don't know what they use to filter the water though, so I don't know if there's a lot of like chlorine or what, what they're using to filter it. Um, so I'll, I'll try to find more out about that. But like I said, I do at this point, because I don't have much knowledge on it and I've been drinking it, it with my food. I just, again, I don't straight drink the water. Uh, I buy bottled water, but for eating, I consume the water and I haven't had any side effects from it. Um, but again, that's not to say that there's not like tons and tons of like bleach in it and it could be really bad for me. So I don't know. Uh, that's something I really should look into and, and such. Oh, my water's boiling. <laughs> Speaking of water, my water is boiling. So my uh, egg noodles here, I'm gonna throw them in they show My dad is getting a little hoping this is going to cook in time that you guys will be able to see it. So there's like one, two, three, and a minute. Now, I, after.
after I open anything, I try I put it in my refrigerator because so I have these noodles. And they're not gonna go bad, I can leave them out. But you know what will happen is the ants will get into them. They get into everything. I don't know about anybody else that lives here, but the ants get into they get into everything. I once had, I swear to God, an unopened pack of Oreos that I left out. And I would probably do it again. There must have been some way for them to get it. But anyway, I had an unpack, open pack of Oreos that I had up on my spice rack. And I put them up there, and I opened them. All of a sudden, some ants came out. And I was like, dude, how are there ants in here? And I thought that the ants were in the package, like, you know, before I opened it. And I was like, that's gross. But then I looked at my wall, and I saw just, like, mountain, millions of them. I'm exaggerating, there probably weren't really millions, but there were a lot of them. But they get into everything, so I just keep, I keep everything in my refrigerator. As soon as I open it, noodles, bread, I don't, I hate cold bread. I, in the U.S., I know people who would keep bread in the refrigerator. I don't like it. Ugh, I don't like that. But here I do do it, because I don't want the ants getting into it. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> oh. So this is going to cook pretty quick, so I'm going to throw the rest of them out. All I'm going to do, I just want my noodles in, I'm going to throw, look at this, look how good this looks. I hope you guys can see this. Oh my god, it's like meat and vegetables. I'm going to throw it in my pasta. So now what I'm doing is, because my pasta is cooking, like I said, I'm going to cook out the, uh, you know, I'm going to boil it and get everything out of the pasta. But what I'm also going to do is, Boil this meat and this vegetable a little bit in it. And it's just gonna make my sauce so good. I don't know if I want to call it sauce, but my broth. Maybe broth is a better term. So it's gonna make my broth ball. And then while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna put it in the right food now. So my mom always taught me, I don't know if you guys' mom saw you this, but my mom always taught me clean while you cook. So, what I'll do is while the rest of this is cooking, I will go ahead and wash the rest of these dishes. This way later, I don't have a bunch of dishes. I hate dirty dishes sitting in the sink. I do. It's like, it's one of the things, I don't know, people, pet peeves or whatever, uh, dirty dishes in the sink just drive me wild. I don't know if that's what they drive me wild. They make me angry. So what I'll do is I'll clean all the dishes that I'm not going to eat with. So this way, once I'm done eating, all I have to do is clean what? The bowl of oyster That's it.
check it out. Look how good this looks. Oh my god. Alright guys, I appreciate you tuning in. As always, this is uh, Halfway Broadcasting from around the world, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. I hope you guys have a fantastic night and have something as delicious as I do. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. Easy.